Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing the weekly premium problem, week two. Um, I haven't done it before, so new problem, yay! We have an N and a K, which is already kind of sus. Anyway, we have 276 paint fences. Um, you're painting a fence of N posts with K different colors. You must paint the, co the post with the following rules. Each post must be painted exactly one color. Um, there cannot be three consecutive more posts of the same color. All right, this seems pretty straightforward. Uh, maybe? Wait, what's what's K? Maybe I missed that. K is... Oh, K is the number of colors. Okay, so that is actually not what I expected, to be honest. So, okay. So, not straightforward. I was going to say... <laughs> a little bit of spoiler was that I was just going to do uh, dynamic programming on... Um, on N and K, but K is just really big. Well, I was going to do a dynamic program on N, K, square... Uh, which obviously K is really big would not make it good, right? Um, okay, that's actually a. I mean, there is a right. Um, there is like a property that I, I like. There is a, I wouldn't say a formula, but there is an observation that you can make. But that's like very mathematical. So I'm going to try to avoid that until maybe I need to, right? But um, hmm. Mm. So I think one thing that I'm so for, for these problem, and I don't know if this is the, 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 um for this one which one is easier yet, uh, uh is that you know uh, whenever you see problems like this where you know you have you have to count some stuff sometimes sometimes it is easier to kind of do the opposite or, or the inverse of the problem and then like you know negate the universe on it right uh meaning that uh you know in this problem you have no um three consecutive three or more consecutive posts of the same color maybe i would consider doing like um the number of ways that there are three or more consecutives and then just subtract it from the universe not sure that's easy for this problem but just kind of you know, have some ideas for you in case at home. It's supposed to be medium. I don't, hmm. Doesn't immediately jump at me um, unless I have like a pattern. Um, and what is N again? N is the number of thing and K is the All right. Mm. I mean, there is that. I mean, I think, I guess you can just do it with case enumeration. Um, I think you can actually reduce the case enumeration in an easier way, but I think... Yeah, I think case enumeration is fine. Is there like a... Uh, oh, I was going to say, is there a mod? Because that seems like it'll grow pretty quickly, but... It, Seems like it'll be in this case, so it should be okay. Maybe not, but at least in Python, we don't have to worry about it too much with respect to overflow and then like if you're a little bit sloppy, right? So the way to think about it, I think it's just gonna be, yeah. Yeah, we just have a count function or something like that, some kind of dynamic programming function. We have n left, right? And here we have to be a little bit careful with how we want to define this particularly. It is just, um, you have to be really careful about this. Um, at least like if you don't have experience and common torques, I don't know, sometimes I'm okay, sometimes I'm not, maybe today I'm not, but, uh, but yeah. So basically the number of ways to paint n post that is not the same as the previous that is maybe n post yeah i think there are different formulations of this for sure but i think the way that i would f w construct this at least like as a skeleton with is kind of like case enumeration which is why i think try to think and maybe this is going down the wrong path to be honest so uh so maybe this is you know a good way for us to learn together uh but yeah so basically let's just say we have the first post 
they're already post up. And it doesn't matter what color that is, other than, um, other than, um, other than that, you have to choose not the same one, right? So basically, okay. So let's say one post is already up. We assume that um, where one post is up, right? So then, what does this mean? That means that, all right, so one post is up. That means that if we, if we choose a different, so there are two things really only, right? So that's why I'm trying to think for it. Um, and maybe we can add a dimension. Maybe that makes it a little bit easier. I don't know. Um, maybe not yet. Um, Uh, so okay, so there are two things we can do, right? In the case of the Muraser is what I'm talking about. So then here we have uh, same color as the previous one, right? So that means what was the same color as the second? Then we said you have two in a row. So maybe we have a function called count two, um, but then you have n minus one, right? And then here is different color as the previous one. Well, if you have a different color, then it's just count of n minus one, right? So then now. Um, so total is equal to zero, we set up first. So same color as the previous one, we only have one way of doing it. So this is just one times this. You know. And then different colors, the previous one is gonna be K minus one times this, right? And of course I, I'm leaving the one times in there for clarity, but yeah, but that should be good, right? And that, But then now we have this count two function. So then here we have def count two and um, the number of ways to paint and post where to, where, um, okay, maybe, um, let me rethink, rewrite this, where the last one post is the same color. I mean, obviously one post is going to be the same color, but, you know, we'll write it as the last two posts are the same color. So. That's why this one is a little bit awkward, so that it contrasts with uh, this one, right? Okay, so then now we have total is equal to zero. We have the same color as the previous one, right? Um, so here, well, we can't do it, so we just don't add it. But then now, so, well, I mean, or like, if you really want to spread it out, so zero, right? Because if it's the same color, then you have three in a row. Otherwise, you have different color as the previous one, so then it's just total again, k minus one times. But if you have a different color, then you start again, so you have count of n minus one, right? So then now you return total. So then that's pretty much it, um, except for the first color, you have to choose the first color. The first color could be any of the k colors times count n minus one. I think that should be good. Uh, well, it should be good, except for we have no base case. Because uh, I was just writing kind of skeleton of a pseudocode, but yeah, if there's no post left, we return one way of doing it. Um, easy convention. Uh, if n is equal to zero, we return one way of doing it. Yep. Oh, what? Oh, whoops. I like big n's, as I always say. Yeah. So this looks good. Um, of course, the thing is that this may time out, right? Because I guess this one wouldn't, maybe, by itself, but it gets caught a lot, so. Uh, but you can also see that count two, um, right? So this is actually what I, uh, okay, let me actually, did, okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna focus on this, but but um, I'll do the optimization in a little bit, uh, toward, you know, a little bit more in the future, which is actually what I knew in the head anyway, uh, which is actually kind of fun. But um, but yeah. So now that you have this, um, I mean, I, I'm I'm a little, little bit lazier about proving it. But you know, we just need dynamic programming, right? It's just gonna be too slow. We can even just put. I mean, I, I don't know if we could. I don't know if I could come up immediately with a big case because this uh, this constraint might be like, oh, you you do too big of a case. But you know, you can. Uh, but the the um, the thing to know that there is a slow case is that if the end. Um, because you have return one, right? So you return one every time to sum up all the answers, just gonna be all these ones all together. So that means that if the answer is two to the dirty one, then you return one two to the dirty one times. Uh, maybe that's not true actually because of this multiplication. But uh, but you know, so okay.
So what does that mean, right? So that means that we just have to do um, uh, memorization, sorry. So yeah, so we, let's add a memorization here. Or well, maybe, maybe this is a little bit. Uh, do right? And plus one maybe. And then count cache is equal to none. And, and plus one. And then you know this is just if count has cache of n, then return count cache. Oops. Um, yeah, and then you also have to memorize this part, which is very similarly written. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little bit, uh, my, my, a little bit thirsty ish, so. And then just caching it if you can. But and then that's it. We could submit it, and there we go. Fourteen oh day nine. Four, Fourteen oh yeah, whatever streak going. But uh, all right. So I talked about some optimization. Was some or like not necessary optimization, just like code. Uh, you know, cleanliness, cleanliness, right? Well, you can notice that in here. Most of the code is the same, so you can actually put this in like another dimension here or something like that if you really want of like, you know, how many in a row, right? So you can kind of um, do it that way. But another way to think about it is that you can actually um, expand this, right? So what is this? Count of two is just you go to, well, I mean, this part is zero. So this is just you go to this, right? So then now you can kind of literally copy and paste. Count of two of n minus one is just you go to um, this, right? because it's n minus one here. So this is n minus two, and that's pretty much it. Um, that that was the kind of the idea that I had in my head, more or less, maybe I would like to test it. Um, it's easier to off by one in my head because my head is very small. But yeah, but that's basically the idea. Um, and run it again. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Um, eh, okay. There are more, a little bit more edge cases because n minus two. So you have to kind of do n minus two is greater than u zero. Because so you could do negative one. But, uh, hmm. Well, that's a little bit awkward. Oh, I see. It's because if n minus. It's a little bit awkward, because, but you have to put in the base case for n minus one. So yeah. Uh, okay, maybe it's more. Did I mess up? I mean, clearly I did. Oh, this is one time. Duh, 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 duh. Huh? Where am I going wrong? I mean, that would be the idea if I had gotten it right. But clearly, I'm miss missing some uh, some stuff here. That's what I was worried about anyway, but, um, but, hmm, why am I adding too much? Do, 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 right? What did I have? I'm just undoing this real quick. Um, so count two of n, let's go to this thing, right? Why is that wrong? I mean, there's the base case, which is a little bit wonky. So we definitely need to do n minus. Because if n minus one, wait, did I write? I don't remember what I wrote. Did I just, was that a greater than equal to? I guess if that's the case, then that's why it was okay. I, I, I think I just kind of, I don't know. I just didn't really think. I don't know. I just had a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's like a mental typo. It's not a real typo per se, but I think I just didn't really think about it. But yeah. So now that you, so you have to handle the base case a little bit. But otherwise, uh, yeah. Now you have one 
away and stuff too. So, and it's slightly faster. I mean, at these times, I guess it doesn't matter. But uh, but yeah. Uh, but you did get rid of a constant thing. Um, hmm, I don't know. Right, so the complexity, of course, uh, we only branch out twice. And also another thing to notice is that, look at the structure of it, right? Um, now you can actually say, oh, this is actually just Fibonacci because now you have n minus one and n minus two. So that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> uh, so now that's it, that's what I have. Uh, yeah, uh, and of course, this scales a lot fast, uh, better. Uh, and if they, if it is a modern problem, then they would, have a mod or something like that, but uh, and this would scale way better. But yeah, uh, linear time, linear space, and you can actually, because uh, you notice the Fibonacci thing, you can actually, once you do this, do the uh, bottom up dynamic programming, you could do the space optimization right after that. So, yeah, so you could do do this in all of n time and all of one space optimally. Uh, definitely try that after you know you kind of figure out and understand this. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Have a great rest of the week, everybody. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.